hey guys welcome back so today i have a huge haul for you guys this is a collective haul um i was gonna do like a black friday haul but i was waiting on one pair of shoes that didn't come until a couple days ago so um yeah so we're just gonna get right into the video um let's start with we can start with um the stuff that i got from forever 21 so the first thing i got is this fur coat it is like it's not even tri-color it's like four color i just think this is so 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 gorgeous i probably will only wear it once if that but i just had to have it it was like this was my birthday gift one of my birthday gifts to myself um, I got this in a size medium and it was like $50. The next thing I got from Forever 21 is this sweater. It's not a crop sweater. It is, um, it's not a crop sweater, but it fits kind of like, um, like a box, like a boxy t-shirt. It, it doesn't fit tight and it has these tear sleeves, which is probably what made me buy it. Um, I think it was like $25 and then my local Fair 21 was having a sale so I just got I love 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 graphic t-shirts like graphic t-shirts sneakers and jeans is like my go-to outfit if I don't feel like putting much thought into what I'm wearing so I like to have a lot of graphic tees and I got this it kind of has like an acid wash um vibe to it I guess you could say and it just says most wanted and then on the back it says 87 um just something cute to throw on like I said that's what I use my graphic tees for just to throw them on okay so this sweater I saw this sweater on a couple of bloggers and I have come to the conclusion that my local forever 21 is just late boots like I will see stuff like I'm from North Carolina, so I will see a lot of people and stuff. I never twenty one won't have it, but months later, um, it'll have they'll have it, and it won't be online. It won't be my first twenty one. So months later, it'll pop up. So this sweater, I really wanted this um, striped sweater. I just love the bright like these colors. I don't have a lot of these colors. That's one of the reasons why I like it. And then this little sleeve detail is just too cute um i think it's a crop sweater or it could be like very close to a crop i mean that does that give you crop vibes it gives me like a a baby a baby tee baby fit vibes um another graphic tee from Rep. 21 this is on sale for seven dollars it just says richie rich again Probably gonna throw it on with some sneakers and jeans. And now a coat because it's cold outside. Um, and then I got this. Um, I don't even know what you would call this. It looks really small, but it's very, very, very stretchy. It's like um, a bodysuit, but it's short. This is just something for me to wear around the house. You will not see me out in this. If I do, I'm probably up to no good if I got this out. If I have this one out in public. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so when I went to the Dominican Republic for my birthday, um, we went to their mall, which was not much of anything. Um, it reminded me of a local strip mall. Um, but they had a Zara, surprisingly. So we did. I don't have a Zara here in Kansas City. So um I didn't see a whole lot like that I just had to have at that moment so I did get this um hoodie it's like um a crop I have a shirt on to me because I wore it to work but um it's definitely a cropped hoodie but I just wore it with some high waist pants so it kind of met it right here but yeah I really only got it because of the sleeves and you see the hood also has pearls on it and I just thought that was just adorable um this was $60 I guess because it was my birthday I was feeling like jazzy but on a regular day I would have not like any other day I would have not purchased this not for $60 no um and also from Zara I got these mustard 
um, high waist leggings. Now Zara is cut for the slim chicks, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm a, I'm not a slim one. I ain't a big one, but I ain't no slim one either. You know, I do got a little thighs, okay? So these are a a large from Zara, and these were I struggled. I'm not gonna lie, I struggled to get into these because of the it's a very thick. Um, I don't know. I'm not good with materials. I don't know what you would call this, but it's just a thick material, and I really had to like fight to get into these. Um, and then I also got, these are some more leggings. They are a plaid, I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is not plaid, it's called something else. It's plaid, but it's not, it's called something else, but I cannot think of like the name for it. It's not hounds too. It's called, um, child, it's okay. But I got these. They're leggings. They are a medium again i feel like these were also cut very slim they're not meant to be high waist so i'm assuming they were meant to be like a low rise because when i wore them it was very hard to keep them on my waist i felt like my butt was gonna be out if i like move grown i just didn't like the fit of these i mean i'll probably wear them again just because i bought them but the fit is not my fave at all this sweater is a rainbow sweater i saw vicky logan in this and i waited for her to post the tag of where she got it from this is from akira this is um the second thing i bought myself for my birthday um because again this was this was um like 55 dollars on a normal basis i would not pay such monies for something like this but it was just so cute it's so different like when have you ever seen something like this? And it is, it's huge. I actually, um, it was, they had two sizes. They had a small, medium, and a medium, large. I got the medium, large because the small, medium was sold out. Um, it's already oversized. So this was like super big. So I washed it in super hot water and then I dried it like on super high. And it shrunk some. It didn't shrink where I wanted it to. It shrank in the sleeves. I wanted this part to kind of be a little bit like to draw up a little bit but i mean it's okay um i already wore this some of the stuff i already wore so i'll insert pictures of how i wore it so um but it's very warm it's so it's so thick like it's like it, this is 55 dollars material this is not cheap material i i really love i really love this i got this dress from JC Penny. Well, actually, my mom bought this, but she didn't like it. So I was like, oh, girl, let me get that. So um, this is from the Tracy Ellis Ross JC Penny collection. It's just a, I don't even know if I would call this a midi dress because it came down. Like, I am like 5'3 and a half, 5'4 ish. I'm not like super tall, but it came down kind of far on me. So it's like, it wasn't down to my ankles, but it was pretty long. And I, I mean, I loved it. I love, love, love the pattern. It's just, I think the pattern is just gorge. And it's a um, stretchy, good stretchy material. And so, yeah, I just, I wore this with, I don't remember. I got a picture. I don't remember what I wore it with. I got this on Cyber Monday. This is from ASOS. Um... I forgot who I saw wear. I saw somebody wear this and I just thought it was so cute and different. It's this um, sweatshirt, but it has this, you see the tool detail and it goes across the chest and then onto the sleeves. I just think it's too cute. It's long enough to be a dress. Um, I might wear it with jeans. I haven't worn it yet because the tool was a lot more than I was expecting. I was like, I said to my mom, I was like, I don't know if I can do this i'm not sure if this is me but um it has a little let me see i'm not even gonna say what language that is because i don't want to be loud and wrong but um the, this says the wording at the top says future then it has a 08 and the future is going across the chest and then you see the the letter the 
wording here. A foreign, it's a foreign wording. I don't know what kind, but. All right, these two pieces are from my girl Undo. She just started her um, online boutique, the After Party Boutique. So make sure you shop with my girl. Um, this is a blue, uh, we call it rib knit with a little striping. Um, a rib knit midi skirt. I haven't worn it yet. I don't know what I'm gonna wear this with. I don't have a lot of this color. I love a midi skirt. I don't like no mini skirt. I love a midi skirt. So, I will probably, knowing me, I'll probably find a graphic t-shirt to put on with this. That's just what I do. I just love a graphic. You cannot go wrong with a graphic tee. And then she sent me a two-piece set. Now, a few things that I love in my wardrobe and a two-piece set is one of them because that's like a no-brainer outfit right there. Boom and boom, they go together. And then you can take them and separate them, mix and match it. So, um, this is another midi skirt, um, gray, with a little slit in the back. And then I love this crop top. This right here will probably get a lot of wear just by itself. Um, it has a, some, I don't know, can you see the knotting detail on this long sleeve? Oh, I love it. That, I don't know why that knotting just, it just really does it for me. That little, it's not knotting, it's like crisscross, whatever you want to call it. I just love that part. So yeah, that is from the After Body Boutique. All right, so we're gonna get into some shoes real quick. Um, so the first pair I got the, are these snake skin booties. Now normally, I would probably not have done this. Uh, this I probably wouldn't have gone for something like this, but I'm trying to like step my style game up and you know, wear stuff that I wouldn't normally wear. So I got these from Old Navy for during Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I don't know, Old Navy was having 50% off or something like that, so these were like $23. Um, I actually love these. I wear these more than I thought I would. I actually wore them with that um, yellow sweater from Forever 21. I got these in a size 8. They're pretty, they're very comfortable because it's a, chunk, it's a chunky heel. Um, so yeah, I actually like love these. These might be like my favorite boots that I've gotten this year. And so... These, no, I'm going to save these for last because those, you're going to gag it. I told her that I love graphic tees and sneakers and jeans. That's like my go-to outfit. I love me a good sneaker, you know? So, oh, I also love this army green color. Some places I see, like, when I'm on UK sites, I see them call this khaki. Um... I call it like army green, whatever. Y'all know what color it is. Olive green, whatever. I love this color in the fall. And then I also love um, monochromatic sneakers, like sneakers that are all one color. Like those are a fave of mine too. So when I saw these, I had to have them. Like it was very necessary for me to have them. Um, I got these from Champs, but normally I'm not, I don't really go for Champs, but Foot Locker and Kids Foot Locker did not have my size available um, online. I called my local stores unavailable. Kansas City's whack. So, Champs did have them. And they were $20 off, so they were only $100. I got mine in a six and a half. I'm thinking I should have maybe got a seven because the fit is a little snug. And my, these are the Nike Air Max Plus. Um, and I have a gold pair. But I got those are women's and I got those in eight and a half and they fit a little bigger. So I thought these would also have a little roomier fit. But they don't. They're a little tight. Like I don't know if I could wear a sock with them. Because when I did my feet were like. I don't know why this one is different. I think it's like this. The tongue of it is thicker than my other pair. I don't know. But um, I, I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't say size up. I have a narrow foot. So I normally don't have to size up, but that was squeezing on my foot. These next two pair I got from Charlotte Rouge. So the first pair are these booties. I would say, what you call that? The Orient? I, it's not an Oriental. It kind of reminds me of like the Oriental outfits, but I would guess you could just call it floral, um, like embroidery. 
Um, again, I told you I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and not just do plain, you know, gray booties, black booties, you know, because normally that's what I would do. Out shopping um, at the mall here, and these were on sale for like $25, I think. So they were pretty affordable. But these things are so uncomfortable. It feels like you are walking on the ground on your tippy toes. Like, I'm gonna have to go buy insoles for these because I like them and I don't want to not wear them, but I actually wore these today with this um with this hoodie. But these are they're so um they're really uncomfortable. They're not a comfortable shoe at all. They're so hard. Like there's no type of cushion whatsoever. Like I said, it feels like you're walking on the ground on your tip. This heel, I don't know how tall this heel is. But it just seems so extremely high for a booty. But we're going to get some insoles and hopefully that works. I don't know. We'll see. Next pair of shoes that I got are also from Charlotte Roofs. And they are these thigh high black booty, black, not booties, black boots with this gold detail around the heel. Um, these were also on sale. I think I paid $30 for these when they were having like some type of boots. I got these in a size eight and a half, and they fit pretty well. Um, the only fit that I have, it's a look, I have skinny ankles kind of, so when I, right here in this area, it is a little gappy just because my ankle doesn't fill it out. And then once you get to the top here, it doesn't give you a lot of stretch. Or maybe my thighs um, need more stretch than what this gives because it, um, it looks like it's, squeezing my thigh and I don't like that so I don't know if I'll wear these like I had an intentions of wearing it with like an oversized sweater or something not with jeans so um I don't like the way they squeeze my thighs I told you I got thighs for days so um they're not thick girl I'm, they're not thick girl friendly not at all but we'll make them work. Hopefully if I put on jeans, maybe that'll um, make it fit better. We'll see. Alright, so these boots. Okay, so the Louis, you know, Louis Vuitton has their desert boots. Those desert boots cost over a $1,000. Um, I don't have that type of money to be spending on a boot. But I just love the style of the boot. I just think it's so cute. So I was searching, searching, searching online for a dupe. I think I got on YouTube and I was just, I just typed in Louis Vuitton Desert Boot Dupe. And this girl's video came up and she found a dupe for um, the Desert Boot. So I'm going to insert a picture of the actual Louis Vuitton boot. And this is the, so I just wore these yesterday. They came in the mail. Today is Wednesday, they came in the mail Monday. I wore them on Tuesday. I was oppressed patty for real because I just love them. So this is the Louis Vuitton dupe. These are called Car Carmel. It's K-A-R-M-E, a Carmel, whatever. And they are from Pretty Little Thing. I got these on either Cyber Monday or Black Friday one and they were 30% off or 40, they were 40% off. And so my total with shipping was like $38. So these look, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna insert a picture of the real thing. Like these look pretty good um, to be not real. Um, and they're super, super comfortable. Like I could walk for days in these. Um, they do have a little strap that you have to unbuckle when you put them on. I got these in a size eight which is a UK six, but I'm kind of thinking I should have maybe even gotten a set. I was, I normally wear eight and a half and I'm a true eight and a half, like all my shoes are an eight and a half. I didn't know if I should get an eight or should I get an eight and a half. And I commented on the girl's video that I originally saw and she was like, you should get a nine, but I have some boots from other UK companies and I, they're in an eight and they fit fine. So I was like, okay, I'll just go with the eight. And so I got the eight and they're big. They are really big. Like, I feel like I could I could get away with a 7. But I don't know if I will, I'm going to order a 7. Like, 
these are, these will just have to do. So I can't tell you like how the sizing works just because I don't know. Like I don't know how a seven would fit, but because I had a lot of room, like my foot was nowhere near like the front of the boot. I would say like my foot could have even been like I could feel my foot moving around in the shoe. So I don't know. Take with that what you will. When I talked about these on Snapchat, this other girl she said she wears a seven and the seven fit her like just right like they fit just perfectly so i don't know i can't i can't call it on the sizing you just gonna have to just guess i, I would rather them be too big than too small because i don't want to return nothing especially not to the uk especially not these because i really wanted them but yes i love them i suggest everybody get these because they're bomb af and you get to look for less. But originally they're $55, which is not bad. But Pretty Little Things, Pretty Little Things, Pretty Little Thing always has a sale going on. So you don't have, you'll probably never pay full price for them. They used to do 50% off all the time, but they've been being cute and haven't been doing 50% off. They only be doing 20, 30% off. What is that but tags, girl? Come on. So on Black Friday, I got some stuff from Boohoo. This is just a regular green sweater. I don't have this color sweater, so I said, hey, why not? It is a, the sizing on the website was described as like, it's a part of their tall collection. But I mean, I don't really see a difference. I mean, I'm not tall, so I don't know how it would fit on a tall person. It might be like a little croppier if it's on a, a taller person, but it fit fine on me. It is a little, little bit itchy. I got this in a medium. It fits fine, it's just a regular old sweater, just, you know i got this black turtleneck sweater dress so this is the turtleneck you want to stop being disrespectful thank you I got this black turtleneck dress also from boohoo um the turtleneck does fold down like such and then it is long sleeved i don't know if i took a picture in this or not Cause I don't know if I really like the outfit. I wore with um, I wore it with those green sneakers. I don't. I didn't. It wasn't my favorite outfit. I had to find something else to wear with it. But um, here it is. It's pretty long. I love this dress. I think it's a very cute dress. It's black. You can do a lot of things with it. You can wear a sneaker with it. You can wear a booty with it. You can. Wear like um, an Oxford with this, some flats with it. You can do a lot of things with it. My camera is hating on me. So the last thing I got from Boohoo is this puffer coat. Um, it's pink and the padding is for real padding. It's not like, you know how you can, you'll see something online and it'll say it's like padded or it's a puff jacket, but it's like, then it's not really gonna keep anything warm. No, this is legitly padded. I absolutely love it and it has, let me see. Um, this is different. It has like this tie detail at the top. Like this is the collar of it. And then it has this tie detail right here. I don't know what it ties to, but I just thought it was cute. Speaking of puffer coats, I have another puffer coat from H&M. It is green. I told y'all I love this color. Um, I got this in a size six. I had intentions of paying full price for this coat because I really wanted it. And it was originally 60 or $70. I got this bad boy for $15. Like, what? $15. And this is a good coat. Like, just like the Boohoo coat, it's very padded. It's very warm. The only thing I don't like about it is the size. I wish they would have had a four. I got a six. But other than that, I love this coat. It has a hood. It's just so cute. Okay, so the last things in my haul I got from Shein. Now, let's chat about Shein right quick. So, I've seen people buy stuff from Shein. I know that it's like a Chinese website, you know, similar to AliExpress, but a little bit more classy. What I did not know is 
the quality is not that good to me. I mean, it might be the stuff that I got. I don't know. I wasn't really feeling what the stuff that I got. I'll just show y'all. So the first thing I got is this two-piece collage, two-piece set. Jackie Ina did a haul video. She had like some two-piece camo sets. But sis didn't say where she got them from. I was like, sis, like, what's the tea? So I found one on Shein. Now this I do like. It's a very soft material. Another thing about Shein, why y'all have no tags in their clothes? I was so confused. Like, are they stolen goods? I didn't, I put this shirt on the wrong way because it don't have no tag in it. Um, but yeah, it's just a little, I got it in a size medium, but I can't tell you if it's a medium or not. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. There is a tag. It is a size medium. I lied. They put their tags on the side and not on the back of your neck. What else? Yeah, I do love this two-piece set. I do. I'm not mad at it. The next thing that I got is this sweater. I got it because of the sleeves. Again, I like the little sleeve detail. But I don't like the way this fits. I'm not, I don't want to put it in the wash. I don't like the way the body part fits. The way your stomach. I'm not feeling this sweater. I'm not. I'll probably still wear it, but... It's not high on my priority list because, and I also didn't like the way this neck laid. It's like the, the turtleneck doesn't fold down very far because of this, the stitching on the side. It's just weird. Not my fave. And the last thing I got from Shein was this cardigan. I do like this cardigan, but I, I feel a little bamboozled because I thought that I was getting like a camouflage type print. And this looks like, um, I don't know, but it don't look like camouflage. It's not what I was expecting to get. I mean, I'll probably still wear it, but I mean, I guess whatever. And it's also itchy. I put this on, I said, oh no. Um, what, let's look at the tag and see what kind of material this is. Feel like wool. Nah, wool ain't that bad. No, this really don't have no tag on it. I don't know what's I don't know what size this is. Oh, this oh, this was a one size fits all. That's probably why I don't have no tag in it. I don't know what it's made out of, but it was just a little itchy. Definitely a little itchy. But I mean I like it. I love the colors, but I'm just a little disappointed in the pattern and the feeling that it brings to my um skin. I don't like that. Alright guys, so that wraps up my haul. Um I did a lot of damage, but I will say this was not just like in one day. This is probably like throughout the month of November, okay? Um, I hope you guys liked the stuff that I had. I think I got some cute stuff, especially these um, Louis Vuitton Desert Boot dupes. I'm probably going to wear these like every other day. So um, I have all the links and stuff uh, below for you along with the sizes that I got um, just kind of as a reference for you. Um, if you're my size, if you're not my size, just, you know, to figure out what it is that you want to, um, order. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and hold up. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you, what are you doing? Huh? What? You, you're not subscribing? I just bought you, I just bought you some bomb pieces and you're, the least you can do is subscribe. You know, I'd appreciate it. A thumbs up, a little comment. You know, so, um, yeah, that's it, guys. I'll see you next time.